Hi, would you like and subscribe? Thank you. Hey kid, as you know, we read books, but at certain times of the year, we read books. The scariest story you've ever heard? I'm in. I'm out. Oh. Oh, come back, Dr. Dinosaur. Oh, and there they go. No, I totally think you can handle this, Ghosty. What? Oh, ghosts can get scared too. Okay, we're back. That was quick. Green Bear says that he will hold my head during the reading. Yeah, and that if I am brave, he will give me one of his whole cookies. It's what best friends do. Okay then, so let's see. Is this really the scariest story you've ever heard? This better be bad. Mm -hmm. Let's go in, because you know there's only one way to find out. Ooh, this book is so inky black and dark. Get ready for the scariest story you've ever heard. It's much too scary for pictures, so I plan to use words. Words? Oh. Ah, words! Wait a minute, why are we yelling? We like words! Oh, good point, Dr. Dinosaur. Well, maybe they plan to use the scariest words. <gasps> like monster, or pop quiz, or haunted, or bookers! Green Bear! What? You can't spell bookers without bow. Oh, you are so smart. You think of everything. That's true. Okay, so we're back to using scary words. Words, 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 words. Wait a minute, there are words within the words. There's, there's whole, wonder, whimsical, ornate, October, otherworldly, real, rotten, rot, repellent. And Diane, Diane said this book? Dusty, and drama, and, and season, and skull, and stink. Chills will be spreading from your head to your toes. Actually, I'm scared to begin, but here's how it goes. And it goes a little something like this. Flip. One dreary day in a house just like yours. Mine? Thunder was booming and the rain did it pour. Oh, not indoor rain. Here, take my umbrella! Oh, green Bear to the rescue. Help me. Mm. Just like this. Oof. I hope it's not raining inside where you are. Okay, all right. Now we may proceed. It was minutes till midnight when the power went out. Oh, oh, great. Now we have a power outage? The boys, they woke up with a scream ah! and a shot! Lying in bed and certainly scared for what happened next. They were not prepared. First, there was a creak. Then there was a crack. What could it be and would it attack? Their tiny hearts began to rapidly pump, 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 pump. But it only became worse when they heard the thump, 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 thump. Wait a minute, they mentioned tiny hearts, but they can't be talking about our thumping tiny hearts because everyone knows that we have big, gigantic hearts. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Wait, rat, aren't you scared? Meh, so far this is just another Tuesday in New York City. <laughs> so tough, so brave. We must be that way now. Maybe. They cowered in fear and hid under their covers. The monster approaching could easily eat brothers. Ah, run for your lives! They'll be back. Maybe. Grrr was the next sound that he made. But the boys were confused as it started to fade. Even though the intruder went further away, this would not be the end of his haunting that day. Wait, 
this book is raising a whole boatload of questions. Like, who are these boys that it's referring to? Are they the ones with the tiny hearts? Are they elves? And who is this monster? Yeah, and why doesn't he show up already? Yeah, monster, you're just a big haunting tease so far. He began to clang as he was stomping around. The boys heard a bang as something fell to the ground. Ah! He yelled. This could not be good, for now the boys knew in the kitchen he stood. What? Was he looking for? Why was he furious? As scared as they were, they were also quite curious. Against better judgment, they got out of their beds. They stood at the door, blankets over their heads. Just in case. First, they heard slurp. Followed by crunch, crunch, crunch. The dog whimpered and barked. Did he get eaten for lunch? Yum! Then, for a moment, things were eerily silent. Oh, eerie silence makes me nervous. Me too. Me three! Then, for a moment, things were eerily silent. If they opened the door, would the beast become violent? The silence was broken by drip, drop, drip, drop. Was this just a nightmare? And when would it stop? The boys had enough, enough. They knew hiding didn't matter as they left their dark room. There was a shriek ah! and a splatter. <laughs> they crept down the hall, preparing for doom, but were shocked and surprised as they entered the room. But nothing's there. What does that mean? It means that whatever it is is waiting on the other side of the page. There he was, a spoon in his hand. This was not a horrible monster, but a familiar man. A man, you say. Dad, they cried. What on earth are you doing? Dad couldn't respond as he was fervently chewing. The dog? No! Well, you don't really know that for sure, do you? I actually don't know for sure. Their fear turned to laughter. With the words that would follow, Dad took a drink and proceeded to swallow. I'm sorry I scared you. Things are not what they seem. It was all for a bowl of delicious ice cream. Uh, the dog lives. Uh. So the monster was the dad all along? And what about all those crazy noises? What caused all that? Oh, see, the creak was that walking out. And then the thump, thump, thump was actually his feet. And the grr, 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 grr was actually his belly, hungry. And oh, the clang was getting the bowl. And then the bang was almost dropping the bowl. And then the ah was when the bowl actually did fall on his foot. And then the slurp was the, oh, the whipped cream coming on top. And then the crunch, crunch, crunch was him eating. And then the bark was actually the dog getting a treat. And, oh, yeah. And then uh, drip, drip, uh, OK. The ice cream is dripping all over the place, and the shriek was when he accidentally stubbed his toe because why didn't Dad turn on the light? And then the splatter was when the whole thing just hit the ground. That's what happens when you don't turn on the light to have your middle of the night ice cream, and also proof that what happens in our brains is far scarier than mostly what's happening out there. So you're saying that no. 
brothers were eaten? Not today. Huh, that was an unsettling answer. And no dogs were eaten. Not today. Hmm. Oh, where are you two going? Oh, we're going to go get ice cream. Yeah, it helps calm you down. Yeah, I learned that, uh, that ice creams are good for nerves. It's in a book and everything. Yeah, Green Bear said so. And that, I believe, is the most suspicious story that you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs>